All right, today we are going to be working on the center console on the 76 Blazer. Um, so I got it kind of set up. Um, just wanted to show you before I took it apart. As you can tell, I already undid these screws. And obviously I gotta take some things off before I even clean it up to paint it. So this is what it looks like. It's the maroon. A whole interior was that. I'm gonna be doing the seats and the SM, SEM paint pretty soon. But just wanted to do the center console first. As you can tell, I had those side screws out already. Put them in some 415 rust remover and uh, cleaned them up a little bit. And um, I can paint those after. Center console is done, so just show you real quick. The inside, maroon, got my back seats, same color as well, but the actual seat is maroon, same with the center console and everything, but as you can tell, I did the back panels and the front panels black, so now I'm gonna be doing the center console and then follow it up by the seats in a different video. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, basically, just gonna take it apart and cleaning it as much as I can. Um, and then we're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna use this truck, truck bed coating. Uh, it's like the hard kind, uh, just put a little texture on it. I'm actually kinda going along with uh, another YouTube video. I think it's like Blazer Guy or something like that. It's a good video. He sells his cup holders and things like that. Um, I do have a cup holder I'm putting it in. I'm not using his cup holder, I'm using a different one, but this is what it looks like. His are actually really nice. This isn't his, but um, his look really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take it apart, break it down as much as possible, and then uh, catch you up after. All right, just wanna show you, once the lid is off, kinda like how uh, rusty and pitted all this is. Hopefully I can clean it up pretty good with some steel wool and some polish and the inside of my thing here. I'm going to paint all this black as well, but this is the uh, top. Everything's in good condition. There's no cracks or anything like that. I can tell so far, but... Just wanted to kind of document this, how it looks right now. All right, so we got it pretty much taken apart. Uh, I just finished taking this piece off and we got this piece off as well. This is what the top half looks like. Obviously I haven't cleaned anything yet. This is what the bottom half looks like as well. And it does actually have a big crack right here where it bolts in, obviously, I'm assuming this one looked like this, but it did have this bracket, so I don't know if it fits perfectly, so I don't know if your blazer has this bracket as well to hold it down, but, or somebody made this or something, I don't know, but it's perfect, and it's obviously been doing its job the whole time that I've had the blazer, so that'll cover that up and it'll hold it down. Obviously gonna paint this as well. We got everything else up here that we need. Um, so now I'm just going to clean everything and get it ready for paint. All right, so I finished uh, cleaning up the bottom half. Now I'm working on the top. Obviously I'm going to cut this out for the cup holder first uh, before I clean anything. Um, so right now I'm gonna kinda, kinda estimating you know, I'm just doing this, got it upside down to fit. Um, kind of just figuring out where to cut. So obviously I'm gonna cut as little as possible first, and then I'll make uh, adjustments from there because obviously I want more material in there for the cup holders to actually sit on. Um, <clears throat> so that's my game plan. I still have to take these little stoppers out. Uh, they're pretty stuck in there. But other than that, I'm gonna get to cutting this out and uh fitting that in we got our pieces uh 
clean and cut out, ready to go. I'm gonna put a light coat of that uh, truck bedding stuff on it. So let's get to it. Um, I actually pressure washed this uh, a while back, maybe like a month or so. So it's got like a good face. Everything's off of it. Um, I ended up uh, scrubbing it with some green pad and some uh, Dawn soap and soapy water. And then I rinsed it and then I used uh, like prep clean, uh, paint, prep clean, whatever. Uh, let it dry and now I'm about to give it a light coat and then maybe come back with a second coat. I don't want it to look truck betty, you know. I just want to put a light texture on it. Um, that way when I paint it, it's all even and you don't see any like imperfections or anything like that. It's all kind of even around. So I'm going to get to it. Let's get that done and uh, I'm going to clean some parts while waiting on that to dry. So we got these two pieces sprayed. They're just drying now. It's only been about five or so minutes since I finished putting my last coat on. Um, but while this is drying, I'm going to spray the inside of this uh, with my spray. I'm going to work on the back sides first. That way I can flip it over and make the outside look nicer. All right, we got everything painted. I got uh, about four, maybe five coats on them um depending on the spots and depending on this one i definitely did more uh probably like four coats right around there for everything um gonna let it dry overnight because i think this stuff settles in a lot better uh as time goes on obviously the only thing i need to do is the inside of this piece the inside of this piece um because you can still see it and i don't want to risk it and uh you know smudge the paint or anything like that so i'm gonna let it settle in overnight um put it together tomorrow that way everything is 100 percent dry and uh polish up some of my pieces this came out pretty decent i think for the original got some pitting down here but that's okay this came out pretty decent for the original i think as well i just need to polish it you know put some chrome polish stuff on it i uh steel wooled it and uh that's pretty much it put it all together I actually clean these up I'm, I'm also doing my horn too so i got that piece somewhere over here that was like super faded so i decided to do it it'll probably be a little brighter, brighter than the steering wheel but that's okay I got this piece that goes on the console. Clean that up decently well. And uh, I plan on painting the inside of both of these, the yellow. All right, we got our pieces finished, all dry. This is the next day. This came out very nice, I think. It kind of looks a little more textured than I wanted but I think it's okay. It's obviously gonna make it more durable. Ended up doing the inside also. There are all pieces. The top came out nice. I'm glad I didn't texture that. So if you're doing this, I would recommend not texturing this and just painting it with whatever paint you plan on using. I think it came out pretty nice. So uh, we're going to basically put it all together and we'll see how it comes out. So I'll catch you up after. I mean, basically this just goes on here and you got a couple screws over here. Uh, I painted all that stuff too. So I got that. I'll be putting on. So yeah, I mean, this is all original stuff, original screws, original chrome pieces, everything. Just painted it basically. So I'm gonna put it all together and let's check it out. All right, so we working on this chrome piece that goes around the top and we ended up getting our cup holders in. 
You had to kind of have to do like an angle on both of these and then push them down at the same time in order to get it into these tabs and everything. Let's get these tabs basically that hold down the uh, little chrome bezel that goes around the top. All right, just going to catch you up where I am right now. Um, got this top piece fully completed. I got my screws in. And I got the uh, the roller pin for the uh, cover to actually close down. So this is pretty much good to go. I um, ended up taking out these gaskets in between the cup holder and then the one that was down in there. Um, I think it looks a lot better without it. And there's a gap in between here and uh, the actual cup holder. So this wasn't really doing anything. It was super loose. Um, Right now I got polish on my horn button. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna clean that off and check that out. That's the original one that was on the console, cover of the console. Uh, cleaned it up obviously and used uh, paint, like a paint marker kind of just dabbed it in there and kind of let it fill in the whole area just not overflow now it's drying i think that's going to actually turn out pretty nice because those are like 50 bucks brand new for some reason um so yeah gonna put everything together now <laughs> all right so we're almost done we got all our uh nuts and bolts on all around it and we even got this bracket on that i'm working on Put this on. Well done. All right, we are pretty much done with the console. It actually looks very nice. I'm very happy with how it came out. Uh, definitely take your time. I think that's what definitely made this look good as I took basically two days working on this thing. Um, so let's check it out. I haven't even wiped it off or anything. I haven't even really cleaned it. Got some smudges around here and everything. But let me check out my piece up here. That came out awesome. Look, we even got dog hair on it. <laughs> we got some obvious pitting around this chrome piece. But that's okay. I mean, that's what I've been doing with the entire blazer, you know, kind of just cleaning up all the original parts using new ones where I need and stuff like that. Um, obviously this is an original piece, except for the cup holders, obviously, but definitely, definitely happy how it came out. Looks very nice. Open it up. The only thing I need to figure out still is, uh, just putting like little rubber pieces in here. Um, just, to help it, you know, if it ends up smashing down or whatever. But very nice. I'm definitely happy how everything came out. Let's get this thing in the blazer. Let's check it out. Check out my horn piece after I polish the chrome. A little piece that goes on here. Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna color the inside of here. I'm not gonna paint that like I did with this. Just, I, I just don't wanna chance it on ruining it, to be honest. So, yeah, it's got a little pitting on there, but not bad for the original. Let's check it out now. Looks awesome in here. Awesome. I think it looks very nice.
All right, cool. That'll probably pretty much do it. I think it came out perfect. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Inside is coming together. I think that was like basically the final, final, final piece for the inside. Um, definitely the inside is looking very nice. The only thing that I have left to do really is uh, the seats. Um, yeah, I got seat covers on them right now, but I think eventually I am going to change them to black. As you can see, they're maroon. So, and uh, fix up like the supports and stuff like that. You know, I didn't paint them or anything like that. So, uh, inside is looking awesome. As um, soon as the weather starts to clear up, I can actually take this thing out. Uh, so, I think probably the next major thing I have left for the blazer is the top. So, all in all, I think everything's starting to come together and it's looking really nice, I think.